What's up guys, welcome back to Sunlight, it's Jim here and today's video we're going to be talking about the brand new Freeview update. Now as you know, Freeview Plus was a great place to check out if you had a smart TV or an internet TV that allowed you to connect to the internet and it used to have built in Freeview Plus. Well they've now changed it to just Freeview. There's no Freeview Plus and they've done a bit of changes so it's really easy and it sort of has this nice guide and it's really easy to navigate through. Now, what are the advantages with this new update? So pretty much everything that you had in the last Freeview Plus update is pretty much the same. The only difference is on Freeview Plus at the top corner, you used to have three major different options. So if you're on channel nine, it directs you. You could hit the blue button to go to nine now. You could hit the green button to open the Freeview Plus TV guide. And also if they had a special event like Married at First Sight or Lego Masters, there would be an additional button to hit. Now this works on any other channel as well. So if it was channel seven, or maybe um, channel 10. So with channel seven, I believe, you will be direct, um, directed with obviously the old update we're referring to, is obviously uh, at the top will be obviously seven plus, then it'll be Dance with the Stars, and then there'll be a seven plus um, button to hit. Now there's a big change, and it's actually so much easier and so much simpler to use, and we're gonna show you a little bit of it. Now it's not available on this TV right here, which is an Android TV with Kogan, not available, we've still got the old Freeview Plus update. The new update is just called Freeview. No Freeview Plus, just Freeview, very simple. What is really cool with this, when you first turn your TV on, sometimes it will automatically activate Freeview. If it doesn't activate it, all you have to do is hit the green button, it will open the Freeview TV guide, and then you can just hit exit. And when you hit up on the pad, so pretty much just have to hit up on the remote, like this, and you'll be able to navigate through the channels really simply. It has a nice little logo, because the channel it's on, and if you go over a little bit by just hitting the arrow here, if you do that, you can watch it on demand if it's available. So it really is something really simple. It's like a pay service, so pretty much if you find a show on channel nine a little bit later, and you click on it, you can actually watch it now, if it's available on nine now, if it's on seven plus, and it's available on demand, you'll be able to watch it on seven plus. It's really easy to use, and I was really impressed with how good it really looks. It looks like a paid service. So honestly, if you've got a Android TV or any sort of smart TV, go on to your, uh, obviously you have to tune into your TV to access Freeview Plus. So tune in your channels through um, your antenna. Basically, from you, when you've done that, um, pretty much just hit the green button. If nothing happens when you hit the green button, turn your TV off, turn it back on, hit the green button, and you should be greeted to the free view, um, obviously, new update. We're gonna show you a little bit about it on the TV and show you how it all works. Very simple to use, and I'm pretty impressed with this new free view stuff. Hopefully, we get some new updates, but we did a video about a year ago. It was all right, a bit buggy, but this update is like a next level of really good content. Like This is like a premium service, but it doesn't cost you a thing. It's really cool, and we're gonna show you a little bit of a walkthrough on it if you wanna check it out, if it's available on your TV. Now, we're gonna be testing it on the Hisense, so I'm pretty sure it's available on all Hisense TVs. It's just not available on Android at this present point. It might be available in the next couple of weeks. Now, let's show you a little bit about the service. What's up, guys? So we just wanna show you the quick little old update. So if you're a bit confused on Freeview and Freeview Plus, this is Freeview Plus. I just want to show you the difference to avoid any sort of confusion at all. So as you see, as soon as I hit the green button, it's going to load some cup. Let's wait two seconds. This is Freeview Plus. This is not what we're looking at. This is not what today's video is about. If you want to know a little bit about Freeview Plus, we will have a video in the comment section and in the description to check out. But this is not what we'll be talking about, okay? We're not talking about Freeview Plus. We're talking about Freeview, which is the new which is um, a newer version of this. So this is an older version, it's still pretty accurate, but there is a newer version that's even better and it gives you a way better TV guide, way better everything, and we're gonna actually go show you that right now. I just want to um, show you the old, pretty much Freeview Plus, and in today's video we're talking about Freeview, which is a little bit different. Again, the same, the same thing, it does the same stuff, but Freeview is the new edition of it. Let's go show you the actual Freeview on the new update. What's up guys, so now let's show you the brand new Freeview. Now you saw the Freeview Plus just before, again that comment, that video will be down in the comment section if you wanna check out Freeview Plus. But in today's one, we're looking at Freeview, and the main big difference you're gonna see, when you hit up on the arrow pad or change any sort of channels, again, you need to enable Freeview Plus um, when you're on your TV. To enable it, just hit the green button, okay, and then you'll be already enabled. Um, I've just accidentally opened that, let's just get out. Um, yeah, so make sure you hit the green button to enable Freeview Plus. And pretty much when you hit up on the pad, now just to put it over Netflix, it's disabled Freeview Plus, and now it's re-abled. Just gotta hit the green button to re-able uh, Freeview Plus. 
and you have this nice little guide right here that's down the bottom. I said the right for the top, what icing presents to you. Um, you normally have a guide for the top, but now you put this nice little one down here. You can easily read what's on it. And the great thing is you can watch stuff on demand, but it's going forward. And again, you have obviously the option to open the free view TV guide, or we're also ABC iView and so on, and you can do a bit of a search. First up, we're gonna show you pretty much the guide, the little mini guide down the bottom here. So if you change the channel, this is what you're gonna be greeted to. It's got a nice little logo, so you know what channel you are on, which is really convenient and easy to look at. Um, so as you see right here, you can just navigate through it um, right there. Now, one interesting thing is, if you live in an area that, um, for example, channel nine, SD doesn't exist in, it will, I'll just show you what it does, it automatically just types in 90 because channel nine does not exist. And it's actually, yeah, because it knows it doesn't exist. Notice it won't let me change the channel because it doesn't actually exist. So let's see if we write channel 9 in. That channel does not exist. Um, yeah, so I don't know why they sometimes present 9. Same as with channel 7. Channel 7 doesn't exist either. That's on channel 6 or channel 70. Um, it just does not exist. Um, so what we're going to do is navigate over to the uh, Freeview TV Guide, which is this one right here. So we want to open up that. And this will give you a nice little option to go through all your free web. So as you're gonna see right here is you can just navigate through and if you click on a particular show, like Good Chef, Bad Chef, you can see if it's available. And as you see, it's actually available on 10 Play. And you can pretty much just click on that and it will open up 10 Play. And as you see, 10 Play is opening right there and you can start watching. So you can just hit home, or not home, hit exit actually, don't hit home. Um, we'll just go back to ABC, um, news just so we don't get a copyright and then we'll go back in to the tv guide okay so pretty much you can just scroll through the tv guide um scroll through it and if you think you see something you want to watch you may be able to watch it now that's the really convenient thing with this if you see that on the tv guide most of it is available on um, demand now this can be anything from seven plus ten play nine now um sbs on demand and obviously you've got abc iview so any of those apps um, if you've got, if you're on any ABC channel, pretty much most stuff is going to be available on demand. And that's where Freeview really comes in handy because you can find what you want to watch and you can watch it now for free, no extra cost. So for example, let's go, let's have a look at the Chase Australia. Let's navigate to that. As you see, you're going to see one right here. Now you probably won't be able to watch that episode, but you'll be able to click on it and it'll tell you if it's available. And as you see, it is available on 7 Plus. And that's what I really love about this, is you can just navigate through it and find all the content that you want to watch without having to open all those separate apps. It's all here on your interface. Just open up your Freeview Plus TV guide and you've got all the content that you want to watch for absolutely no cost at all. Now, we'll just go um, hit close. Now, for some reason, you can't hit back. Um, back doesn't get out of this. Um, you can hit exit, but it'll close the complete lot. You just want to hit close. Um, so you don't close the whole uh, thing. Um, and that's pretty much everything with this. Other than that, um, there's not too much difference. You can just nap pretty much. This is the main new thing. You can scroll through the TV guide just like that. You can see what to watch. If you find something you want, you can click on it. Um, it'll tell you what it's called. And also you can easily open up your free view TV guide. And obviously where it's available on demand, which is 10 play. And you can search for something if you want to search. Now going back into the TV guide part of free view. The great thing is now, we'll just back out of that and open it this way. Okay. What you want to do, you can actually scroll up the top right here and you can actually have a look at some of the settings. Now, there's nothing really major you can change in settings, but we'll show you anyway. So you can jump over to settings. So if you want to search for something across all the free to wear channels um, that's tuned into your TV, you can search for something and it will easily find it, which is really great. So if you're looking for Manifest on channel 9, just search for Manifest, it'll tell you when it's on and if it's available on demand, which is a very helpful feature. We can hit back on that and we'll go to settings. Now, in settings, there's nothing really um, you can do here. The only really cool thing is you can clear user data. Now, what that will allow you to do, is just clear everything that you've ever searched for, clear the lot. Um, so if you've returned to TV and you want to clear it, or you've moved states or something, just clear that and it'll clear all your user data on the Freeview um, app. Uh, pretty much you've got your terms of use, uh, privacy policy, how to get help, and yeah, that's pretty much everything over there. And there's the software version down the bottom here. But other than that, that's everything with the Freeview, um, pretty much uh, new um, update with it. You've got a new TV guide, you've got that nice little mini guide down the bottom. You can just easily scroll through, change the channel, 
shows you how to open on demand if there's something you want to watch on Sam playing, nine now, seven, easily finds it. And also you've got that nice little um, freeview TV guide that you can open. Very easy, straightforward. Let us know what you think down below and we'll see you guys in the next one.